Got it. So he's definitely making more waves on the internet or the international level. Got it. All right, we got Swamp versus a Gnarf. Maybe it's just Narf. Could be like a Silent G, you know, like oh, Nat. Oh, man. Those Silent Gs are hard. <laughs> Those Silent Gs will get you. <laughs> All right, King Day, Dang. King Day 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 versus Two Link. That's a matchup. That's a matchup and a half. Man, that's going to be a lot of projectiles. <laughs> yeah, man. And like, I don't know. I feel like, uh, I feel like this could be really good for Toon Link, actually. Just being able to like that, you know, you can always have like an active projectile hitbox to deal with like Gordo, obviously like, you know, having some distance yourself, having better maneuverability than DDD. Pretty much if you're not getting lead trap, I can see this being pretty okay. Yeah, I can see that, especially, uh, but one thing DDD's got going for him is that now his, his neutral B actually acts as a reflector. Oh yeah, that's so true. So he doesn't just absorb the bomb anymore, he's gonna toss it right back. Those boomerangs are going right back to, mm -hmm. to Link. A lot of positional pressure in the corner right there. Oh, wow. Kind of a crazy pivot grab. Yeah, scooped. Scooped our, our, our Toon Link up. Oh, you see that he, <laughs> he like, blew the, the, the boomerang back at him, but the bomb was enough to, like, <laughs> he just threw more projectiles at the problem. Now, one thing I always got to hand DD players is their Gordo, like, control. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. The way they throw out Gordos, whether if they're trying to pressure ledge or even uh, Swamp was using the Gordo along the platform. It's right. Crazy. Yeah, just kind of like the fact that it's one of those moves where you can kind of have so much control over it, setting a lot of different uh, little angles. Wow. Right there just kind of skirts over uh, Narf's head. Yeah, but even then, Narf like, wanted to retreat, but he could only retreat so much or else he's going to run back into the Gordo. Right, right, right. It's that stuck in the, between a rock and a hard place kind mm -hmm. of moment. Ooh. Oh, wow. What a <laughs> what a kind of awkward way to combo that. It looked like his uh, neutral B came out the wrong way. Or... I think he was actually trying to like suck it in from behind. Yeah, I don't know I if you can do, but I think he's tried to do that a couple times. Yeah. He might know something. Wow. <laughs> he threw the bomb against the wall kind of. Oh. oh. And right there, that might have been him, I don't know, missing the ledge sweet spot somehow. Yeah. Right, but it worked out fairly well for Narf. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gordo just disappeared. Okay. Yeah, it's just <laughs> all right. Back to, back to from whence it came. Oh! oh. <laughs> Slapping the Gordo right back at Swamp, but Swamp was already ready with the with the neutral B. Yeah. There's been a lot of downer usage from uh, from this two lane narf. Like using it multiple times per stop. Even even you know at the expense of getting punished sometimes, because it is obviously a very laggy move if it doesn't connect. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. well there's the neutral B again. Yep. Swamp making good use of that move. Okay, double yeah, see. And actually, Swamp might have been even trying to call it out there. He just kind of like thought that he was going to go further in. That force match might have even ended it across stage. Not sure. Yeah, I think he's trying to really utilize the down air to make it back to the stage uh, mm -hmm. as fast as he can. But it's kind of putting him in a bad situation. He, he has his sword stuck in the ground. He's kind of stuck there. Right. Oh. Oh, that guy. <laughs> that hit him? What? It did, but, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Ah, that's so stressful. I feel like he was <laughs> so close to dying there. Yeah, honestly, either of them could have died in that situation. Right. We saw Swamp running off stage. Looked like he was trying to set up for a nail oh. forwarder. Gets scooped up, down throw, chase him up. Oh, okay. And there it is again. Yeah, that's two stocks he actually lost to getting up smashed out of shield on that down air. So I don't know, like, you know, if that's... If there's some temptation there that's making him feel like, yeah, I can hit this down air this time, but it really looks like it's getting baited out and punished a lot. So um, I mean, there's always that temptation to be like the hype maker, like okay, if I do down land this down air though, if it hits, if it hits, if it hits, <laughs> it's, you know, it's it's even then though, right? You're not gonna get a KO with it. It's like not really gonna lead to on stage KOs. So you know, yeah, you launch them up, but if you're wrong, I just feel like the risk reward isn't there. Maybe, maybe it's not about winning. Maybe it's just about sending a message, <laughs> or maybe trying to get those clips. Two, okay, well, right. Swamp Ta and Narf. Yeah, Town and City. Okay, that's a good conversion. Yeah, he definitely could have gotten a potential fault like dash tech follow up if uh, Swamp Tech in place or didn't tech either. So, yeah, this is exactly where you want to be. Like, put him in the corner, you know, cage him in with those projectiles. Don't let him get set up throwing out quarters of his own. Okay, well, there's another down air coming from Narf. He had the right idea. He wanted to apply more pressure. Mm -hmm. Maybe punish a, an option with an up B. Right. I like 
the idea of getting under him and using up air to prevent DDD from coming down on top of you. Because that is, oh my goodness, and that was a very sick edge drop from Swamp. Narf kind of not ready for it. Kind of didn't like react and respect, uh, you know, DDD kind of jumping out after him. Looked like he was still kind of trying to throw projectiles. And that's probably good conditioning on Swamp's part. Really in game one, we saw him going off stage, but he wasn't really pushing many buttons off stage. Right. Here, a little bit of a different story. Yeah, now Narf's going to have to respect it. Yeah, that Gordo just took a beating. <laughs> <laughs> but it did its job. It protected the king. Yep. Wow, Gordo. When you get hit by the hammer and the Gordo, that's, that's got to be a horrible right feeling. There. <laughs> yeah, it does a lot of damage, So man. much damage. For, like, the quickest two hit. Okay, B reverse. In that turnaround arrow. Another and down air from Narf. And again. What if he lands it, though? If he lands it, though. <laughs> Oh, oh, but if he lands it, Swamp going off stage. And yeah, this is just like a fat lead at this point. Yeah, it just good. feels like, a, I don't know, feels like Narf doesn't have much of an answer for like that kind of play style. Like when he goes above it, like where's the up air, you know? And again, kind of the desperate down air. I mean, it, could be, it could just be, you know, tournament, tournament nerves, nerves you know, stream on nerves, stream, man. Exactly. But Toon Lake has a couple of answers wow. with someone trying to fall on you. You got the up air, you got your up tilts, up smash covers, a wide, a wide range. Yeah, well, I would I would argue that, you know, played correctly, like, should be, I mean, really, any sort of character should be one of the hardest to approach from above, but not going to do it yet. Looking for a, is that a down air? Yeah, that was a down air. He wanted to end him with style, yeah, but it looked like going to keep Narf in the game. The crazy thing is I think back here even would have just closed it out. There it is. Yeah, that's the, that's the big swing we know and love. Three stop from Swamp. Impressive stuff in that game, too. Uh, yeah, just kind of solidly controlling the pace of that full set. I mean, I mean that's just uh, when you have better fundamentals, that's what it comes down to. Yeah. And the thing is, like, it's 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 really bad. I feel like the first step in a, and any tournament set is, like, uh -huh. if you can get the download on someone doing something really punishable like that and they don't adapt, the set's basically over. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you're just like, wow, okay, so I can jump on top of you and land on you with Nair, I can land on you with Neutral B, and also you don't, if you if you don't really even answer that, and also you're kind of throwing out these downers, then I, I can just keep running my same game. I don't have to think at all. I don't have to make any adaptations <laughs> until you've demonstrated that you, you know, can it, actually answer these. The best way to really demonstrate that idea is to bring up the video from Justin Wong when he's playing Mortal Kombat online. Mm -hmm. And he just continues to do the, the rocket launcher against a kid. Yeah, man. And he just tells him, he, you know what, you're going to learn today. You're going to learn, learn today. <laughs> so, and uh, I think Narf did learn today. Yeah. Learned that he's going to have to find some type of anti-air. That's to, right. To go along with his, his toolkit. Especially against DD. I mean, you know, the thing is with DD, like a lot of players, like surprisingly, like even, you know, 